maybe we can touch a little bit on patent pending. I know when we're working on our own inventions or working with a client, there, there seems to be some great benefits to just having a patent pending. Maybe you could touch on at what stage does somebody have a patent pending? A client is patent pending when I hit that electronic file button in my office. So once the patent application is filed, you're patent pending. And some clients believe there is value in being patent pending, even if a patent doesn't ultimately issue. Um, they view it as uh, a deterrent to potential competitors. So they can go ahead and show somebody, hey, this is my invention. You know, are you interested in investing or purchasing my intellectual property, my IP, without the fear of somebody you know, trying to run off with their idea? Absolutely. So once the patent issues, your ability to sue for infringement will date back to the date of publication of your application. Mm -hmm. So you actually have the right to collect damages for a time period that precedes the issuance of the patent. So what other benefits do you see with a patent pending when somebody is trying to pursue an invention? Well, I would say it deters competitors. It also, as you've acknowledged, has some value to investors. It's an asset that can be valued as part of your company valuation. You can license your patent rights, so you can start, and we have many, many clients who enter license deals before the patent issue, so while they're patent pending. You can start collecting royalties while you're patent pending. I would say those are the main advantages. When somebody files for a patent and they have a patent pending, it adds value to their invention. Uh, when somebody is trying to sell, a, sell an idea, it seems that every step along the way they take an idea, they, they have more to offer. Uh, if they have just an idea, it's going to be awfully hard for them to sell just an idea to a per prospective you know, buyer, a company that might want to license it. But if they have a prototype, virtual, pro virtual prototype, CAD drawings, uh, patent pending, or even a filed patent, every stage along the way, do you agree is, is more value that, they could, that they're going after? There's no question, David, and I'm glad you asked that question because I will get clients in my office from time to time and have an idea for whatever reason we, they either haven't filed for a patent application yet or I've told them this is not the kind of idea you're likely to get a patent on. Let's say, for example, someone who has an idea as to how Oreo cookies might better market their products, right? That's not going to be the kind of thing that's patentable. Um, but what I explain to clients is without being at least patent pending, and we've talked about the fact that in order to be patent pending, you have to have a virtual or a physical prototype. You have to reduce your invention to practice. Without at least being patent pending, you're not going to be able to pitch an idea to a third party company because most companies out there either will not sign a confidentiality agreement with you unless they've done business with you in the past, or if they're larger companies like Disney and IBM and um, companies of that caliber, they're going to have an idea submission agreement. And most of the idea submission agreements I've seen in the recent past require you to either have an issued patent or be patent pending. So it's going to be a requirement of pitching your idea to a larger company. It helps you get in the door and it gives your idea some clout. Absolutely. Nice.